we thought we'd make you a film of our everyday lives. So this is it. Okay. Come on. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I grew up in a village called Elsing. It was quite magical. Can I skip? I was born without hip joints and very short thigh bones. Your diagnosis happened on our first scan. They had never seen this before. That was scary. My disability is so rare, I can't find any proper statistics for it. There is this missing piece of the puzzle in my life. Finding someone exactly like me. I have discovered this group for people with similar conditions. So we're all going to meet together. Hi. I'm really excited. Who here thinks that I'm a sex symbol? Are you all kidding me? Really? No one? Being disabled in this ableist world is brutal. Growing up, it's definitely a struggle. No one's ever wanted to be like me. Not even I wanted to be me. I get laughed at everywhere I go. Is there ever going to be a point when it's not going to matter? I used to imagine myself in the future as better. And at some point, you just realize this is it. People want improved appearance. With surgery, we could lengthen the bones. But you're not a candidate for lengthening. Usually, we do that at age three. As a society, we'll do anything to make our disabled children as close to non-disabled as possible. I love and respect my body. Being this way is not the problem. It's what you do next that matters. No one is the same. Everybody is so unique. No such thing as normal. Learning day by day to, you know, love myself and love who I am. It is hard being different, but the world would be worse off without disabled people. And now I feel a little bit less alone in the world. <laughs> Which is very cool, isn't it? Okay. <laughs>